We hear a lot about uh, the hospital not paying property taxes. Uh, what can you say about that? Well, you know, we do pay property taxes uh, on some of the stuff that we've got. In fact, we are in the top 25 taxpayers in both Bibb County and the city of Macon. Uh, and we pay property taxes on uh, generally on office buildings and those type things. The pure hospital itself, we don't pay property taxes on and that's a, there's a law set up and that's, we comply with that law. Um, and the reason we don't pay property taxes on that, it's an offset to all of the care to the uninsured, the indigent care, which uh, is many, many times what the, those property taxes would be. For instance, if property taxes on the, on the hospital itself probably would be three or four million dollars a year and we render after all the money we get in probably about uh, another 20 25 million dollars worth of uh, care to the uninsured care to the big county in. so those people that do not have insurance and do not have the money to pay uh, i know you try to get the money from them if they have it right. but if they don't have it bib county put some money in also i think they do but uh, it's not enough to cover all expenses it does not cover it it's uh Generally, it's about the same level it was about 15 years ago. Uh, by the l late 1980s, we were up around $4 million of, of uh, money from the county, and that's about where it is today. So it's, it's not kept up with inflation the last few years, although this past year or two, we did get one increase, but we'd had two cuts before that. So, so uh, it, it certainly is well appreciated. We work with the county to, you know, to, uh, to get those funds, and we appreciate their partnership but it does not come close to the covering the cost. But you know, it, it almost seems like if you have uh, the Coliseum Hospital and you have other hospitals here, it seems like you still wouldn't have as many many patients if you have today. It seems like some of it would go somewhere else. Some does, I'm sure. Uh, the Coliseum has an emergency room over there and I'm sure they do get some level of the uninsured and, and that sort of thing. Uh, but it is it is a, very small in comparative times. I think the latest state numbers I saw, we get probably over 97 or 98 percent of the service to the uninsured in Bibb County, and, and the ones that we work with the county on are ones that we have gone through social service with to make sure that they qualify. It's not just people that don't want to pay the bill. These are people who are truly needy, and, and we go through all of those kinds of services to make sure that, that those are truly needy people, and if so, that they do qualify for that care. What about people that come from another county? How do you deal with that? Great question. Um, we're generally the same way. Now, we don't have a program set up without outlying counties. We've tried some in the past and without a whole lot of success uh, to get them to pay some money toward uh, for the care of their uninsured as well. Uh, but basically, if you come to our emergency center, you're going to get seen. Uh, that's, that's who we are and that's what we do. Um, in addition, if you're in, uh, you know, one of the outlying counties and an ambulance picks you up and you've been a wreck or whatever, and we're the ones that can deliver the care, we're going to deliver the care for you. Uh, and that's, that's the, way. the outlying counties, they don't pay money back in as Bibb County does? Not, not to us straight away. Now, we do have an arrangement, uh, a little arrangement with Jones County, a little arrangement with Twiggs County. It also involves ambulance service coverage, but those are the only two that we have uh, specific arrangements with. Uh, we do work with some of the other counties occasionally on a patient by patient basis, but but not much. Uh, I heard something recently about the Anderson Health Clinic closing. Fact or fiction? Uh, the Anderson Health Clinic is absolutely not closed. We still are seeing over 30,000 visits a year there. So that you couldn't hardly say that was closed by any stretch of the imagination.